Welcome to Biomed Global. This video provides a brief introduction about viruses. Learning objectives of this video are introduction to viruses, basic structure of a virus, viral diseases, and where to classify them, either as living organisms or non-living organisms. To start with the definition of a virus, a virus is a small infectious agent consisting of nucleic acid that can be either DNA or RNA molecule in a protein core. And due to this reason that virus contain only nucleic acid and a protein core, they are also known as nucleoprotein complex. Uh, these infectious agents are too small to be seen with light microscopy and uh, virus can only divide and reproduce in living cells. Now the question is, do viruses have a cell? And the answer is, viruses do not have any cell. Mainly, there are four major components of viruses, and these include nucleic acid. In the center, there is a nucleic acid, capsid protein, a protein that covers and protects the uh, nucleic acid of virus. There are viral receptor and enzymes that helps in the viral replication. The functions of viral components are uh, nucleic acid that can be either DNA or RNA as a genetic material of the virus and viruses are considered as the smallest organism as they can have either DNA or the RNA as far as the genetic material is concerned. Every other living organism has deoxyribonucleic acid or DNA as the genetic material. Uh, the next is capsid, that is a protein, and it protects the viral genetic material. Uh, receptor attached to the host cell and help in the entry of virus into the cell. And viral enzyme basically assist virus to take over the control of the cell and uh, create infection. The most important genetic material protecting component of a virus is viral capsid. And capsid is made up of protein shell uh, and uh, virus shape is also defined by the capsid. So here is a shape of uh, one virus and you can see the capsid over here and there is another virus which is an HIV virus and it's capsid. So both these capsid, uh, you can see it over here, they differ from each other though this one is uh, just a drawing of uh, the capsid structure. There are two major groups of viruses. One is the enveloped viruses, but they have the genetic material is covered with a capsid and around the capsid there is an envelope over here. The other one is non-enveloped viruses. These are the viruses which only have the genetic material enclosed within a capsid protein and uh, that's the reason we call them as a nucleocapsid also. However, there are uh, uh, certain viruses which we call them quasi-enveloped uh, virus also. Now the next question is, are viruses living organisms or non-living organisms? Uh, because these viruses, they do not have a cellular structure and there is ongoing debate about the living and non-living characteristic of viruses. Uh, they have the characteristics of both living and non-living that we will be discussing in the coming few slides. Now the living characteristics of a virus is are that all viruses have genetic material like living organisms. Uh, viruses contain macromolecules like living organism has, for example, proteins and nucleic acid and viruses replicate like living organism. However, this replication is limited only in the living cell. And viruses have enzymes like living organisms have. The non-living features of viruses are 
that viruses lack growth characteristics, no response to stimuli, viruses form crystal and can live outside the host cell, there is no metabolic activity in viruses and cannot replicate without a living cell. And viruses are also non-motile. So all these, they are the non-living features. Discovery of viruses is linked with protecting tobacco crop. So here is a healthy tobacco plant. And this tobacco plant, when get a viral disease, it get the shape like this one and the quality of tobacco get deteriorated. So now we know the disease that was making tobacco sick is due to tobacco mosaic virus. And tobacco mosaic disease was identified by Dmitry Evanovsky in 1892. And Martinez in 1897 named the organism causing disease in tobacco plant as viruses that is a Latin word uh, for poison. And Wendell Stanley in 1935 crystallized tobacco mosaic virus and defined its structure. Here is the current known structure of the tobacco mosaic virus. It has a genomic material DNA and then it has a, this uh, capsid protein that protect the genetic material However, its structure is uh, very complex and this is known as a complex virus also. So we will be uh, discussing about the structures of viruses in another video. The first human viral disease was recognized in the year 1901 and that is a yellow fever uh, caused by yellow fever virus. And this virus is transmitted through mosquitoes bites. Now we know there are several other viral diseases also transmitted through mosquitoes and among these dengue is the common one. Uh, the historical record of this uh, yellow fever virus infections uh, are also available um, in, in 1793 in Philadelphia uh, when almost 5,000 deaths took place just in three months. Unprecedented developments have been made in the recognition of viral infection among humans, uh, particularly in the previous century. Uh, so you name any organ and there is a viral infection, eye infection due to viral diseases, uh, gastrointestinal infection with viral diseases, sexually transmitted diseases. And uh, I mean, there are so many viral infection and some of these uh, viral infection can be controlled with vaccines, whereas for the other one, the development of treatment is in process. Thank you for watching this video. I'm looking forward to your comments and questions regarding uh, uh, this video, and I will appreciate if you subscribe to our channel, Biomed Global. Thanks and all the best.